Today we're talking about cures and letting you in on some of the most cutting edge treatments for common illnesses. Joining us is Dr. Christy Funk, who's here to share a very exciting treatment for certain types of breast cancer. Welcome back. Welcome Thank back. you. Nice to be here. It's always nice to have you. And you're showing us something. It's called, is it Savvy? Is that how you pronounce it? Savvy, yes. This is my favorite new technology in breast cancer care. And what it is, is a radiation device. When, as you, as you know, a woman has breast cancer, she has two basic treatment options. One is mastectomy, removal of the whole mm -hmm. breast. You come in and do the reconstruction. Yes. Or she can have a lumpectomy, removal of the cancer with a normal healthy rim of breast tissue around it. If she chooses lumpectomy, and that's all she does, the recurrence rate of that cancer coming back in the breast is 40%, very high. Wow. Mm -hmm. But if you radiate the breast, 40% becomes 6%. So basically, lumpectomy and radiation go hand in hand. Enter Savvy. So this is a type of brachytherapy. Brachytherapy targets only where the cancer was. It right. turns out that about 96% of all recurrences occur within an inch of where the cancer used to be. So what I do as a surgeon is once the lumpectomy happens, we know our margins are clear. The patient comes back and has a simple outpatient thing in the office. I'll clean the skin, numb it up, make a little nick, and enter this device into the lumpectomy cavity. And I can find it because all of my patients have clear see-through breasts. No. <laughs> um, You're actually, actually doing this, not, not the radiation oncologist. Right, this is the surgical part. So I use an ultrasound to see through the skin, mm -hmm. obviously, and to find my cavity. Then all I have to do is pull these catheters aside and wind this up, and then you'll see that the prongs inside this catheter are opening up these little struts. Yeah. And now they're opposed to all aspects of that cavity. And then you can just enter the radiation device. Actually, I think we have a nice animation to show you this too, a little better. So this is really targeted radiation. Yes. So the device is already inflated here and each one of those wires has a little radiation seed at the end of it and as that wire is pulled back the radiation is dosed all along the track of the wire what you can see is you can dose it differently depending on where you are so you can actually target the skin less and the muscle less because you have things under there like you want your heart and lungs right. to stay yeah. radiation free mm -hmm. but you can radiate the tissue more because obviously cancer comes back in the breast not in the air down in your heart and you so, know christy this is just revolutionary to have something like this developed because as you guys know my mother was affected by breast cancer she had radiation and it can be devastating to women what the radiation can do to the breast tissue even after the lumpectomy when you're trying to save it and the lymphedema that can cause so much pain and restriction of movement that, I mean, this can really save a woman so much pain and suffering, and I lived through that with my mother. we all have seen it. The yeah. side effects of radiation on a woman's breast are significant can, yes. in terms right. of what they feel, and they look, and makes it much more difficult to examine right. the breast, treat the breast, do surgery on huge. the breast. This is so huge and humanitarian for women suffering from breast cancer. We what? actually have yeah. someone on the phone right now who says this very savvy technology helped tremendously with her own battle against breast cancer. Welcome, Judy. Well, hello, doctor. How are hello. you? Hello. Well, I'm actually doing great. So how long have you been cancer-free now? Two and a half years. Wow. And it sounds like you're a big proponent of this savvy technology. I went through five days of treatment, twice a day, my last treatment was on a Friday. I was back to work on Monday full time. Actually, I was working two jobs at the time. I just kept trucking. I could not believe the fact it just didn't do much to me. It just, I got treatment and the radiologist kept saying how wonderful it was. I was getting targeted treatment, but it was just great. Well, thank you so much for sharing that story, Judy, and best of luck to you. Thank you.